How are you? My name is Dr. Stephen Lamberg, and today what we're going to talk about is a little, a little bit about data-driven diagnosis, and most importantly, we want to get to the root cause analysis of why is the oral pharynx collapsing? Why are there apneas and hypopneas? We know that if there's nasal resistance, then it's important to eliminate that or reduce that, and that will help the patency of the oral pharynx where it's collapsible. So we want to collect some data about inspiratory flow, nasal inspiratory flow. And to be more exact, we have a, a device that we're going to show you today that does peak nasal inspiratory flow. And it's a little device here, it's a meter. It's called InCheck, and it's made by Alliance Tech Medical. And it, you have to have this device, which measures how much uh, nasal inspiratory flow you have. And then you need a child's mask because the other masks are too big. So this is called an uh, in-check oral device. And this is a pillow mask that's the child size. So we take this out of the package like this. And these are disposable. They cost about $5 each. Okay, so you take it out, and then, then you open up your in-check device. Okay, and then you just, basically you put it on like that. And if I give you a close-up, it shows liters per minute, and there's a little weight, and then there's a red wheel here. And that goes all the way down. The weight takes it down. You do a quick inspiration and you see where, it, where that ends up. And you want to be over 100 liters per minute. So what I'm going to do, since you saw the scale and you saw how I connected the face mask, now what I want to do is I want to put this over my nose and do an inhalation. Okay, and that didn't work because the the uh, red thing went back down. So you want to hold this horizontal, if you can. I'm going to turn it towards you so you can see it go up. And it's just a nasal ins inhalation. This is for the peak nasal inspiratory flow. And you see mine was 250 there. The red wheel stays up there. So if you hold it horizontally when you inhale, I'll do it one more time. And that was just about 180. So you can see when you hold it horizontally, it stays there. When you tilt it down, it goes back down. So you have the patient sit upright in the chair. You don't have to have them standing, but this has to be horizontal. Now, if they have a flow of 50, what I do is I send them for an ENT evaluation. So in combination with what I see on the cone beam that we take and the inspiratory flow analysis, those are two pieces of data and I give that to the ENT and I ask them what can we do maybe the turbinates are enlarged maybe the septum is deviated um, and and then we discuss everything from there so I hope this is helpful and I want you to see my other video we're going to do shortly on spirometry which we're going to measure lung volume have a great day